Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how to restore backups inside of cPanel. The cool thing here at NameHero is that each night we back up your website and we also back it up once a week. So you have two different backups that you can go off of. Now our customers like this because in case they make a change that messes the site up or um, something happens and they accidentally delete something, they can actually roll back to the previous night backup or roll back to the previous week backup. And so it, and we also make it available inside of cPanel so you don't have to contact our support. Um, and you can even back up individual emails. So let me show you how to do this. Right now we're on namehero.com, so we're going to go ahead and log into our account. I'm going to use my demo account, demo at namehero.com. Enter my password and log in. Once inside of the client area, I'm going to click on cloud web hosting. I'm going to click on my package. Now it's this package is halloweencostumeblog.com is my demo. And once I get here, I'm going to go into cPanel. Now, if, you're, you have, if you have a reseller account, you're going to have the option to go into Web Host Manager or cPanel. So you want to go into whatever account it is that you're wanting to restore and access cPanel because that's where it's going to be. Okay, so once we get inside of cPanel, we can see it's the first option at the top here, CP Remote Backup Management. And if we click here, this is where we're going to do everything. So you can see really quickly is that the daily backups are available from November 2nd. Um, and that's from this morning because this is November 2nd as I record this um, demonstration video. So this was taken around midnight to the early morning hours. So this is going to be the latest backup. So let's say any time between now and tomorrow, if I make changes and don't want it and want to roll back, that's going to be the latest one. Then I can look at weekly backups and I can see at the beginning of this week um, on Sunday, that this one we had a back another backup taken. So if I said, well, man, I made a mistake on Monday and I need to roll back to Sunday, well, I can go back that far. Um, so there's two different backup options that you have to choose. Now, this is really good because these backups are stored off-site. They're not stored on the same server as your website. So in the event of a catastrophic, which we don't you know, really plan on ever happening, um, but your data is secured and backed up in a whole other location. So in case of a data center failure or um, anything like that, um, we've got you covered. So with that said, there's six different options here when it comes to restoring. First is restore home. Now, your home directory, it stores everything about your website, all your emails, all your files, um, everything except the databases. So if you really want to just bring everything back to how it was, now remember, you're going to lose emails um, by restoring the entire home. Um, this is what you would choose, though. And it's very simple. All you have to do is enter your email address right here and select which backup that you wish to restore. Do you want to restore the daily one or the oldest one, the weekly one? All you, once you enter your email, you click restore. And then once it's restored, it will send you an email and say, hey, you know, the re restoration is finished and you can now go back to your site and it will be there. So let's go back. That's, um, that's used, um, on, like I said, only if there's really something big that happens to the account. A more common restore is the document root because this doesn't mess with your emails. Um, this only messes with everything in your public HTML directory. So this is the files to your website. So this is, like I said, this is the most common restoration we see. Someone accidentally deletes a file they forgot. Someone accidentally installs a WordPress plugin that messes up everything. This is how you roll back all those files to the previous backup. Once again, it's very simple. You just enter your email address and you select if you want the daily one or the weekly one and then click restore. The system does everything else from there. You don't have to do anything. And then it simply sends you an email when it's finished. And then you know that um, those files have been restored. Now here's um, the second most used restoration is if you don't want to restore the whole home, because remember the home does both the document root and the mail. The document root is just your files. Now here's the mail directory. So let's say that um, you want to restore all of your emails. Maybe you deleted an email that you really needed and it was an accident and you can't find it and maybe you cleared out your trash or, or whatever. Um, you can roll back to that day or that week and all those emails can be retrieved. Um, very, very um, useful here. Uh, this is used by, um, it, for some reason, you know, you get busy and checking your emails and, and things just get deleted. Um, so this is uh, very beneficial. 
Okay, now this is uh, pretty cool because this actually, if you know the file you deleted or the directory you messed up, you can just restore that. So let's say that you don't want to restore your whole home. You don't want to restore all your public HTML files. You don't want to worry about the mail, but you know that there's a specific directory or file. Well, then you can enter it in here. This also goes if there's a specific email address, any folder underneath your username can be restored here. So maybe it's just one email address that you need to restore. Maybe it's um, just one file inside of public HTML. You would just simply enter that file here. So if, if it was um, your image directory, you would enter something like, um, let's say your image directory is just below your public HTML. You would enter public HTML slash images. And then this would restore only that image directory inside public HTML. Now, if it was a um, mail account, it would most likely be mail slash and then whatever the username is. And then that would restore just that user's email. And once again, you can choose from the daily or the weekly. All you have to do is enter, enter the path or the file um, and then your email address. Now, let's say you know this specific file. So let's say it's public HTML slash index dot PHP it would only restore this index. So this is really beneficial because me being a developer as well, sometimes I'm working on a file and I say, oh, man, I just, I messed it up and I forgot to take a backup. So this allows you to pull it from, this, from the previous backup and it, it's very quickly. As soon as this happens, it sends you an email and then you're all set. Okay, now this is really important to note because this far we've only covered emails and files. We haven't talked about databases. So if you restore all your files from the day before, but if you made an alteration to the database, it's likely you might still have some problems with your site. So typically when someone's running WordPress and they, they have a plugin they installed that messed everything up, I will typically recommend restore your document root, restore everything in public HTML, and then you have to restore the database. So this is um, a little bit interesting. You have to enter your email address as we've been doing, but you have to enter the complete database name. So let me show you where to find that. And we'll go back to client area and click on cPanel again. And from here, I can go down here to my SQL databases. I click here and scroll down and it's gonna show me all the databases that I have. Now, if you just have one, which on my Halloween costume blog, it's just this one database and that's the WordPress install I have, this is the full database name. So I would just highlight this and copy it and I would go back to my remote backup and I would enter that in here, okay? And then I would enter my email address and select if I wanted the daily or the weekly backup of that database. So what we recommend doing is if you're wanting to restore WordPress to the state it was at the last backup, the first thing you want to do is you want to restore the document root right here. And then you want to restore the database. And that, and that will get you back to the current state it was from that last backup. So if you know, well, the site was working perfectly fine before I made this change five minutes ago, then you can go do that. Um, and of course, you can if that doesn't do the trick, you can always go back to the weekly backup. Now, the only time this um, may get a little sticky is if you um, are doing these changes on the week of the backup because on Sundays, you're going to have a daily backup and a weekly backup, and it's basically going to be about that same data for a couple of hours. So that's important to note. And that's why we, we start that on Sunday because we see a lot of people don't make changes really on Sunday. Uh, but nonetheless, that's how you restore the database, and that's the other step that you need to do, especially when messing with WordPress. Now, other than that, you can read about CP Remotes and about how it works and um, learn about the actual software that we've integrated with um, from there. But that's, um, that's how you use this, and it's very powerful, yet very, very simple. We, wa we wanted to make this as easy as possible. Um, and previously, we had worked with... Um, our techs actually bringing back online sites or files. And what we saw was it just customers had to wait for us to find the files and, and all that. So the CP remote really lets you take control of your entire account. Now, in, if you're a reseller as well, this is a feature that you can sell your customers. You know, that's a big selling point to your service is this comes free with every cPanel account on Name Hero. So whether you're a basic hosting customer, it's on there. If you're a reseller, all your clients are going to have this as well. 
So it's a huge selling point and a, just a wonderful feature to have inside of your account. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to let us know. Um, I do want to demonstrate really quick. If you want to, you can go into the file manager, just cPanel file manager, and you can see the actual folder names. And that, that sometimes helps because you can see this document root. And we can choose mail here, and we can see the different um, directories. So like HalloweenCostumeBlog.com, that would be, there would be users inside of here. Um, new, this would be new emails, um, temporary um, file. Um, we can go to public HTML and you can see the actual directories. So these are actual directories we could um, restore. So use that if you're a little confused at what you need to restore. And as always, our team is sitting around um, monitoring our tickets 24-7 to help you um, make sure that you make the right decision when you do the res restoration. Um, but given there's so many limited options, you really can't mess things up too, too bad. So again, if you have any questions on it, let us know. But it's simply CP Remote Backup Management inside of cPanel. Just another feature that Name Hero uses to help lead your website into the future. Thanks everyone for your business. Let us know if you have any questions.